Hi, welcome. My name is Mrs. Overish and I'm so glad you are here today. We are gonna be learning about our five senses today. Our five senses help us observe the world around us. Do you know what our five senses are? We have our sense of sight, our sense of hearing, our sense of smell, our sense of taste, and our sense of touch. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our sense of taste. What part of our body helps us with our sense of taste? That's right, our tongue helps us with our sense of taste. We're able to taste the different things that we put into our mouth. The sense of taste is my favorite of the five senses because we get to taste all the yummy food around us. Today, we're gonna to read a poem together and practice using our sense of taste. Are you ready? All right, let's read our poem. Our poem is called Apple Pie. I can see the apple pie. I smell the sweet special treat. I can hear the timer ring. That says it's time to eat. I can feel the steam so warm rising in the air. I can taste the juicy filling. Would you like to share? We're gonna read it one more time and see if we can identify the different five senses that we hear when we're reading our poem. All right. I can see the apple pie. We use our eyes to see the apple pie. I smell the sweet special treat. We can smell that sweet special treat using our sense of smell on our nose. I can hear the timer ring. What do we use to hear the timer ring? That's right, we use our ears to hear the timer ring. That says it's time to eat. I can feel the steam so warm rising in the air. What do we use to feel the steam? That's right, we use our skin or our sense of touch. And I can taste the juicy filling. Would you like to share? How are we gonna taste the juicy filling? That's right, we're gonna taste it with our tongue after we take a big bite of that apple pie. We use our sense of taste to taste the things that we like and we dislike. I know I really like to eat a piece of pizza. Do you like to eat pizza? What are some other things that you know you really like to eat? Can you tell me or tell someone around you? I know I also like to eat apples and carrots. I also know I really like to eat tacos. I can taste all of those things with my tongue and my sense of taste. We also use our sense of taste to taste things that we don't like. I know that I don't like pickles. They're really yucky to me. Are there things that you don't like that you use your sense of taste to tell your brain, mm, I don't like that. Can you tell me or someone around you something you don't like to eat? I know I also don't like eating mustard, yuck. Those are some things that I don't like and my sense of taste helps tell me that I don't like that. There are senses of taste that we use to taste different types of things. We have sweet things that we can taste. What are some th sweet things that you like to eat? Maybe some candy or even an apple can be sweet. What about something sour? Have you ever had something sour? Sometimes it can make your lips pucker when something's really sour. We can also taste salty things. What's something salty that you like to eat? I like to eat popcorn or maybe even a pretzel. Those are things that are really salty that we can eat. There's also things that are bitter that when we taste them, they maybe don't taste as good as something else that's sweet or salty. Can you think of something that tastes bitter when you eat it? 
and maybe a lemon is something that's bitter. With someone at home, I want you to see if you can find something sweet in your house and taste it. Can you go find something sweet? I have an M&M. I know that an M&M is something sweet. Can you eat your something sweet with me? Mmm, it's so chocolatey and sweet. It tastes really good. What about something salty? Can you find something salty in your home? Maybe you found a pretzel or a cracker or a chip. Those things are all salty. I found a pretzel. Can we eat our salty thing together? Mmm, I can taste how salty it is. And sometimes salty things are really crunchy like this pretzel. What was your salty thing that you found? I also found something bitter. I found a lemon. A lemon is something bitter. When I smell it, it smells good. Mmm, but when I taste it, it doesn't taste that good by itself. But we know we like to eat lemon in things like sweet treats, or sometimes people like to eat it on their veggies. So lemon might not taste very good by itself, but it can taste good in other things. Did you find something in your home that was bitter or sour? When we're talking about our sense of taste, we know we can identify things that we like and that we dislike by using our tongue and our taste buds to help us. Thank you so much for learning about your five senses today and talking about our sense of taste. I really hope you were able to eat something sweet and salty and something yummy that you liked. Next time you are talking about your sense of taste, you can tell the people around you things that you like to eat and things that you don't like to eat. My name is Mrs. Overish and thank you so much for coming to learn with me today.